I'm Mona Lee, so today I have a video I thought I'd done because it seems so simple but I haven't done it ever and it's what's in my makeup bag and this is sort of the makeup bag I take with me when I'm going on trips or it's the one I take with me to go to school it's kind of just the one that's on my desk always there and if I'm like okay I've got a long day at school probably need to retouch I'll just chuck it in my bag if I'm going on a trip this will be the one that's in my hand luggage or in my bag and also this is the one that if I'm going on a sleepover or whatever, staying at a friend's house, staying at family members, this will be the one I bring with me. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just get into it because there's not really anything else that I can say. Right? <laughs> so yeah, um, this bag was from Forever 21 and it was super, super, super cheap, like everything else in Forever 21 for that matter. Um, and it's really good just because it's the right size and... Um, I don't think I need to really justify why I bought this. It's holographic. Um, so I'm going to start with just what's on the top, not like in order of anything particularly. Sorry. Um, so yeah, first of all I've got my MAC Fix Plus and, and I need this um, pretty much every day because I spray my makeup brushes, especially my foundation brush, um, with this just to make it stay longer. Well, I need my foundation brush. Should have said that. <laughs> but no, it's, um, it's really, really handy for making my foundation go on a little less cakey and it makes it stay longer as well and I think it goes really well with studio sculpt just, just saying just saying um the next thing I'm pulling out is my sleek contour kit um I've got it in light and it's really really handy just to take with me because it's got both the highlighter and the contour colour so if I'm out and about I don't want to take two products with me this is really 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 handy um the next thing I've got is something I carry around everywhere like I'll use this at home as well. Like, I'll take this and this out of the makeup bag and keep it on my desk, like just because I use them every day. And that's my eyebrow kit, and this is the e.l.f. one in Ash. Um, really, really, really good. I've got that from Sharnexo. Her recommendations. She's fantastic. Yeah. Lipsticks, because this is like my summer makeup bag. I've got my more summery colours. Um, so the first one I've got is uh, Pinkabel, which is this gorgeous bright neon pink. I don't carry my Mac lipsticks with me in this because um. I don't really carry any high-end products because I just don't like taking them to school or high-end sort of thing. I don't take anything high-end or high-end like MAC or NARS. It's all just stuff I wouldn't mind losing, um, which sounds awful, but I have had stuff taken out my bag at school in the bathroom, so never again. Nasty teenagers. Um, so the next one is by... <laughs> what is this one by? This one's by LA Girl. And again, I, I wasn't sure about this brand and then it was recommended by Shanexo and I was like, oh! sign me up and this is like a coral colour I'll just swatch that because it's so pretty um, and it literally goes on like a Revlon lip butter but the pigmentation is just crazy so I love 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 that so that's why I've got them with me I've got one bold and one like nude that I can wear during the day um, and then I've got my eyeshadow primer which is a Japanese company it's by Dodo which I think is quite amusing and it's just like a nude oh dear I can't open it like a nude coloured I don't know it's not, it might not even come up as a colour on the skin. Um, and next thing, I've got my makeup brushes. Oh, so many makeup brushes. Who needs this many makeup brushes? Am I mad? Ah, oh, so many. Okay. Right. Okay, got them. Um, so I've got... Okay, there's not actually that many. So I've got three eyeshadow brushes. I've got the MAC... Um, ooh, two, three... Two, three, nine. <laughs> the MAC 239, and that's just really good for doing all over shadow. Um, I've got this copy of the MAC 239. Don't know why I felt the need to put two in there, but I just always love this brush. And that is the Sedona Lace 305, and it's the, um, I think it's like the dome shader brush. And it's really, 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 I love this brush. It's one of my favourites. And then I've got the Tapered Blending Brush, which is the Sedona Lace 863. Um, and of course, this is really, really good for blending. Tapered Blending Brush. Blending. Me. And the last thing is my Flat Top Kabuki by um, Sedona Lace again. And this is from the Midnight Lace Collection. And this is the 928. And it's really, really, really lovely for blending in foundation. Especially the foundation I've got in the makeup bag, which I will come on to right now. And that is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And recently, because it's getting into summer, and I feel like my skin doesn't need as much cover, really. Um, I try not for like less heavy coverage foundations or I try and dilute them with MAC Fix Plus. Um, and although I don't really dilute this with MAC Fix Plus, I spray this on afterwards and um, it helps it sort of 
sink in and stay. Um, I really love this foundation. I think I didn't think I would because it is so light. Like it's like a BB. Well, I've got BB creams that are much higher coverage than this. And the final products are. Um, well, how many have I got? I've got four. Four final products. Um, I've got blush, which is a cream blush, because I just find, like, carrying around a powder brush, you've got to carry around a blush brush, and that's just... <sighs> blush brush, that's difficult to say. Um, so basically, if I carry around a cream blush, I can just stick it on my finger. Um, and this is a gorgeous blush by Kate. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a really gorgeous peachy colour, and really good for summer, so... That is by the brand Kate, and it's in the colour... PK2, so I'm guessing that's pink too. I want pink one as well. These are really good. I love these blushes. Um, next things are... Well, next thing is my eyeliner. And this is the one that I got free when I bought a collection order a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's just the felt tip liner, um, 24 hour. And it is. It's it's It speaks the truth. It is 24 hour. Um, or at least in my experience, because I don't really do too much. So it's not like I was sweating or running or anything. But it did stay on for what I needed it to. Um, and because the tip's really fine, you can get sort of really fine lines. I did my wing with that today, and I was um, quite pleased with how it came out. Um, ooh, second to last product. Oh, I have missed some of the brushes. No. My other two brushes are the MAC 168, or this is the Mini MAC 168. So this really isn't my favourite brush for contouring. Um, my Sedona Lace On is definitely, definitely the favourite. But if this is in my bag, I'm not going to be too fussed if it, like... I don't know, I just feel like, I've, I don't use this stuff as much as I use the other stuff. I just use this like on a, I don't know, emergency basis. So this is kind of my emergency brush and um, it's a little bit tougher and like not as nice as my Sedona Lace one. But it's still pretty cool, so I keep it with me and it does the job um, yeah, as a contour brush. Um, my final brush is my brow brush and this is the Sedona Lace 561. Um, and FYI, I'm not sponsored by Sedona Lace or anything, I just really like them. I posted a video of like reviewing the whole collection that I own, so go check it out. It's my like least viewed video, even though I put the most effort into it, it was awful. <sighs> but yeah, so this is just a normal angled brush, so it's also really good if you want to do like um, eyeliner and stuff, so that's kind of multi-functional. Um, and the last thing... Second to last thing, penultimate item, is my concealer, and this is the MAC um, Moisture, uh, what is it? Select Moisture Concealer, that's what it is, and this is in the colour NW20, so it's a bit dark, which is probably not what you want in a concealer, but it's 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 actually about right, once I put on my bronzer and stuff, it's about right, so that's that's good. I like that concealer a lot, because I have quite dry skin, so it kind of helps. Um, oh... There's one product hiding, so I've still got another two products to show you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then I've got my natural collection powder, and that's in warm. Um, yeah, and I just really like that powder. It's quite mattifying. It's not the best powder, but it's the cheapest that I really like. I, yeah, the final product now. Now this is the final product. No, it's not. I've left something out of this. My mascara. Uh, well, basically, if my mascara was here, which it isn't, it would be the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. Which I'm loving, but I think I just used it, so that's why it's on my desk. I'm so sorry, guys, I'm useless. But yeah, moving on. This is the final product, and it's the Steal It in the Light palette, and I take this with me pretty much everywhere because I sorry, love it. Sorry, guys, my memory card cut out, so I just had to refilm everything because I was talking for ages. And it wasn't recording, but that's okay. I'm going to cope with that and we're going to move on and I'm going to talk about how much I love this and yeah, the Steal It in the Light palette um, and I just think it, it's such a gorgeous versatile palette it's got four matte shades, four shiny shades shiny shades, does that remind you of the shiny show? shh, <laughs> hate having braces, but the shiny show anyone remember that? if you don't, you didn't have a childhood I was probably far too old to be watching it I had baby sisters but it was so good just saying also, out of the box, out of the box, out of the box. Best show ever, just saying. Um, but yeah, such good pigmentation. I mean, I don't really use that shade, but just look how good it is. I should probably use it just because it's so beautiful. God, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so that is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette, and it's quite lightweight, so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. Yes. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I'm um, a little bit stuck with videos, as you can probably guess by the kind of mundane 
boringness of this video. But I really, really hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. Please do. <laughs> but yeah let me know what you want to see next time and um i will do that for you i've got exams coming up next week so i'm going to be a little bit busy so probably won't be able to film as much as i'd like to but um let's be honest this summer i'm going to be filming every day i'm not working so that's going to be a lot of days so i'm really 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 excited to get loads of content at you in summer but for now i'm kind of take a little break get on with my exams and do really well um and then hopefully i'll be in london next year Woo. So yeah, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Um, I will see you soon.